Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic open world game on Scratch. First, you're going to see a cat in the box when you open up a new project. We're going to delete him because we're not going to be needing him in the future. Next, we're going to go to choose a sprite and then go to the paintbrush. Click on the paintbrush. Convert to bitmap. Now take the fill can and grab it and make it a green color. It doesn't really matter what type of green color it is, as long as it's green. Now just click on the box right here, and it should fill up with a green box that looks like this. Now, we're going to take the circle, and we're going to change the color to blue. Once again, it doesn't really matter what color blue it is, as long as it's blue. Now we're going to draw circles around the green map just like this. A couple is all we need. After we've done this, go back to code. We're going to create another sprite. Go to paint. This time we're going to once again convert to bitmap. Make it red or any other color you want besides green and blue. And just create a little circle. Make sure it is centered in the middle Go back to code. We're going to code this sprite. First of all, let's name it. This one's name will be character. For the code, we're going to go to events and grab a flag. And then we're going to go to motion. And we're going to grab a go to button. Now, it's going to say anything right here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to change these to X0 and Y0. Click play, and as you can see, our character is now in the center of the screen. Now we're going to start coding our map. We're going to name this map. It's sprite one right now, but let's change that to map. For map, we're going to grab in the events section an if flag clicked button. Then we're going to go down to control and grab a forever block and an if statement. Then go to sensing and grab an if key pressed. Right now it says space, change this to up arrow. Now we're going to go to motion and do a change, grab a change Y button. We're going to change that to negative four. Click play. Now click the up arrow and your character should move up. Now. We're going to duplicate this, put it directly under the first one, and we're going to change this to key if down arrow is pressed. And we're just going to change this to 4. Now if I click the up arrow, it goes up, and if I click the down arrow, it goes down. And our cursor, our character, stays in the center of the screen. Now once again, we're going to go to control. We're going to grab an if statement. And in the, in the sensing section, we're going to grab an if key pressed. This time, we're going to change it to right arrow. We're going to go back to motion. And we're going to grab change X by. Grab this out of here. And change X by negative 3. We're going to click play. Now you can go up, down, and to that side. We're actually going to change this to 4, so it can match the speed of the rest. Now we're going to duplicate this, put it directly under it. We're going to click on left arrow key. Now we're going to change that to 4, once again. Now I could go to the left, to the right, and up, and down. I could even go that way, if I click both arrow keys at once. You can go to all sides and walk all directions along your map now. Now, in map, we're going to go to events, grab a flag button, and we're going to go to looks. Now go set size by. It's going to say 100%. We're going to change that to 500%. Now click the play button. And now the size of the map is very large. 
You could increase and decrease the size of the map however much you want, but for this we're going to use 500. Here's the completed project so far. The character moves around the map as you so please. Alright, thanks for watching. I will make sure to post more Scratch videos just like this one in the future.